Another season with no migrants. I guess they decided they didn't want to come to this death trap. This maim hole. <sighs> the hospital. What? Well, Mean Melter, the bookkeeper, has been possessed. Where are you going, Mean Melter? What are you going to grab? He runs off towards something. Oh, please make us a, an amazing weapon. Or an awesome piece of armor. I have a feeling you're going to go to a craft shop, though. What is your skills? What skills do you have? You are a carpenter, a weaver, a grandmaster woodcrafter. When did you become a grandmaster woodcrafter? I haven't done any, any woodcrafting yet. I think I've made a few arrows. I don't know if that counts or not. Yep, he goes straight for the craft store's workshop. Well, it's all yours then, Mean Melter. Just calm down. So we'll see what he makes. He's definitely grabbing a lot of wood. Is that two wood? I think he might have grabbed some obsidian, maybe. Or is that three pieces of wood? What else are you gonna grab for us, Mean Melter? Can you just grab a bow from the uh, the archer shop? I think that's what that is. A crossbow. Mean Melter begins a mysterious construction. Ooh, I can hardly wait. I'm shaking with anticipation. If it's a, it is a crossbow, I'm fairly certain. I don't know who can use it. Dion is still out here. No job. Dabbling sword dwarf. Hungry, dehydrated. Not a damn thing anyone can do about it. They're just now getting the way to, around to carrying that body. Cappy Anon needs empty bucket. I might have to make some more buckets if the... I heard there's a bucket bug where if they fill up with water and don't get completely drank, they'll just sit there. We'll switch all these to be used for burial. There relays Metal Slime Hunt. There's Nil. And there's Jaclar. If we last long enough, we'll, we'll gussy up their tombs a little bit. In honor of their heroic deeds in adventure mode. And Metal Slime Hunt, just cause... Just cause, I guess. Um, you need some cabinets or some chests, don't you? Whoever's room this is, scattering things all around it. Give you that chest. Hopefully you'll put your clothes in it. Stop letting them lay on the floor. You're gonna attract vermin. Still plenty of people in beds. Wounded, dehydrated, dying. I guess I'll give the order to make some more buckets. Well, a bunch of chairs being made, a bunch of tables. Finally trying to get the dining hall set up, so try not to be distracted too much. Box MacLeod 1's mutilated corpse. Dion's right lower leg. I should try to make a trophy out of that. Um, as soon as... Main Melter gets finished there. I'll try to make a totem or something. Yeah, those of you who've been killed really quick, and especially those of you who were killed really quick and have posted your name on the blog, I'll probably give you a second dwarf soon with the, the next migrant wave, perhaps. Like I said, if you're watching these and you want a dwarf, um, you really need to respond. I definitely give priority and preference to, to their names, people I know who's watching. Yeah, all the kitties are running around out there, catching wildlife, dragon fi flies and fireflies. <laughs> I was really excited. I thought it was going to be a crossbow or something, but it's an alder cup. And let's get a better look at that, shall we? Ingulozlam sends Season Nation an alder cup. This is an alder cup. All crafts dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is decorated with gargoyle bone and encircled with bands of alder. This object menaces with spikes of poplar and cork tree. And we are going to sell that if we can. Can we sell artifacts? 
A stray cow gives birth to a bull calf. I'm also thinking about digging a pit soon and throwing a whole bunch of these animals in there just to clear up some of this clutter. I don't know if, uh, if it bothered you guys or not. I know it can be a whole lot to keep track of. So it may help follow along or it may just make the world look more barren without all the animals running around. It would probably stop this ash from being tracked all over the place. <sighs> Somebody unhappy here? Lockman 1. He's waiting for combat training. He is very unhappy. What are you unhappy about? He has complained of thirst. He has witnessed death and complained about the draft. He had a nice bath recently. Complained of the lack of chairs. Looks like you were injured with something. He is virtually never sick. What's your health? Wounds, left upper skin, fat muscle, probably dense. And you were recently evaluated by Hippo Man. This is what's left of our military training right now. I guess they'll be fine. Hurry up and bury the dead. People start getting upset that their their friends are decaying. There's Alienera, Ablexi. Yep, you can use that for burial. Box McLeod's corpse. Blind Chaos 1, you died. There's your corpse. Mr. Insane 1, there's your corpse. A uh, moment of silence for the fallen as they get carried away. Now there they lay. Blind Chaos and Box McLeod. McLeod. That's where you guys were deposited. So it's 7th Sandstone, mid autumn, 317. We're still recovering from that ambush. And I am preparing this place um, just a little bit better. I'm going to remove all the ramps here. And like I said, I, I might move, remove almost all of them and just have a small segment down. That way, if an ambush does come somewhere on the side of the map, I can try to quickly mine that out. But I'm going to need some more miners, I think. Get some of these people to heal up. Where are you at, Hippo Man? Diagnose patient. He's right there. Looks like you're checking up on Pasakoy. You run and get something. A bucket. Um, I guess I should put a well close to here, too. I know the aquifer is just one or two layers down. It'd probably save some time. So how about here? This looks like a good place for a well. I'll dig a stairwell down, and I'll get that started probably before the next video comes on. Giant gargoyle is fighting where? Right there, just kicked in the, the front of the residential building. A, B, target. Is it just one giant gargoyle? Yep, and we still have that elf. I'm going to have to um, tell Pylops or somebody else to be expedition leader. Or tell Pylops to stand down so he goes and meets with them. Or maybe Pylops just needs an office to meet with them at. I don't know. For now, kill that gargoyle before it can do any more damage. Go. Dion becomes a marsh dwarf over there in the grass still. The gargoyle starts attacking the war dog. The war dog holds his own though. How messed up did the dog get? Oh, stunned. He's just a little bit beat up. I don't see any body parts missing. And the giant gargoyle is getting welled on by Apex Origin. Oh well, whoever Edom Endocorin was Novus leader. Um, you've died from thirst. Uh, I'll never be able to fix your name there, but... You had a title, at least, and you were one of the leaders, so you were somebody important at one time. Rest in peace. Attack! Giant gargoyle runs away. It's all mangled. It jumps up the ledge and flies high into the sky. Uh, I guess we'll listen for the sounds of combat, and then we'll just pause it and zoom over to it. It might try to run away. The war dog gives birth to a batch of puppies. And 
Hippo Man's been distracted by a giant gargoyle. Okay, I am curious now. Where are you at, gargoyle? You are right there. Oh, damn it. Pasakoi 1, you've died from thirst. Um, let's claim the bodies. 24 volunteers interrupted. Hunt down that gargoyle. He's slowing down production. And finally, Pylops meets with the elf. I guess I didn't have to take charge of the situation. Don't get distracted, Pylops. You're the face of our empire at this moment. Ah, such a pleasant place you've carved out for yourselves here. Let the conversation continue. I wonder what we should build out here in the open. I look forward to our meeting next year. Unfortunately, I don't have anything I can talk to you about. And Dion, out there in the grass, has finally died from thirst. Damn it. And claim all your gear. Well, rest in peace, Dion 1. You held your own out there with your crossbow to the very end. Somebody's fighting now. Did they finally catch up to it? The giant gargoyle is fighting. Up there. It looks like Jake Dog has shown up. All alone. You're stunned, Jake Dog. Zalganus Ash one has died from thirst. It's a bloody massacre and where where was Jake Dog? There he is. Right here. I think Jake Dog's about ready to die too. You have blood all over the place. You and the gargoyle tangle. You start running back towards the edge. <laughs> and then you run away from the gargoyle. Jump, Jake Dog. The gargoyle flies off. Looks like you're maybe searching for a way to get to him. You've just got a little bit of damage, liver crotch, chest area, upper body. I think you'll make it though, you'll probably be another bed case for the doctor to deal with. You run to the edge there and stand, watching down on the residential area, making sure the gargoyle doesn't try to swoop through the front door again. 